Hi, I'm Jeff at Better Living Outdoors, and today I want to give you a quick run through on the TP500 control panel from Balboa. We're finding that a lot of Ospars are coming through with this panel on nowadays, so it's just a quick run through, give you an idea of how this panel works. So I've literally just turned the power onto this hot tub, which obviously you guys are going to be doing at home. First message you're going to get is run pumps purge air. So what the hot tub's asking you to do is to turn the jets on. So depending on the model you've got, if it's one of our 13 amp spars, so Tuscany, uh, Riviera, or something like that, you've just got the one jets button you need to press, and basically pressing it once will turn the pump onto low speed, pressing it again turns it onto high speed, and that's basically running the pumps and purging the air. If you've got something like a Cayman, a Dominican, or maybe a Mauritius, the AUX button that's over here runs the other pump, so you would need to press that, which will then run water through the other pump. Typically when you first start the spa up you're going to get a little bit of gurgling and bobbling and then once the water's moving through you know you've run the pumps, you've purged the air so you can come out of this menu. It will automatically time out of it but if you want to force it to come out just press one of the temperature buttons on the other side and what will happen then is the spa will start uh, looking to display the current water temperature. So initially you're going to see the little degree Celsius, obviously the panel's back to front as we're standing at the moment and it, it's basically reading the water temperature so in a minute we will start to see the temperature get displayed on the panel in the meantime you can see other things on the panel uh, at the bottom well the top right as we're looking at the moment there's a little r upside down that's telling us that the spa is in ready mode now 99% of the time you're going to want to be running this spa in ready mode so do make sure the R is looking like that. If it isn't then we are going to need to do some adjustments through the menu system. Uh, moving across I think it looks like a little headlight display that's actually the indicator to tell us that pump number one is running. And if I knock the pump off that's now drop down to low speed so you can see the imagery has changed it's going to keep on low speed at the moment purely because it's trying to identify the water temperature so there we go so it's just come up and red so we've got 22 degrees celsius so as that is higher than my set point on this spot at the moment the tub has now turned itself off other things you can see on the panel there on the left hand side there's a little thermometer and you've got a downward facing arrow so that indicates that the spa is currently in low range now if you guys at home wanting to get your spa to heat up you're going to need to change that into high range which i shall show you how to do shortly so first place you're going to want to go is the menu button so if we press the menu button now first thing it's going to do is bring up temp and you've got that uh, temperature thing flashing so over here if you use the upward arrow that will then change into upward, uh, into the up range, the high range, which is the range we want it into to heat to normal temperature. So if we press the menu button to accept that, that then takes you back to the temperature display. Now what's happened now is the top is now kicked in because it knows it wants to heat higher than 22 degrees, which is what it's allowed to do when it's in high range. Uh, if we go back to the menu button again, so we'll pr keep pressing through to the next bit so this is mode so that's what i was saying earlier the r indicates it's in ready mode which is where you want it to be if you see your spa looking like this it means it's in a uh, rest mode rest mode won't allow the heater to run won't allow the pumps to, to run apart from when the filter cycles are set not really the mode you want to be using if you if you are having um circumstances where you think that might be helpful then obviously give us a call we can run you through what that does and what you need to do with it or have a refer to the manual obviously so we'll press the um, menu button again and we'll go back through so through to mode and then you get to set time so at the moment this is showing me it's 12.03 if I press one of these buttons over here that will then start the, the, the clock flash and then basically I can use up and down to accept what hour of day it is and then if I press menu again, that moves me onto the minutes. And then as you imagine, I can press up and down on there, press the menu again. That's the time set. And we're back to the front screen again. Uh, this good time just to mention the uh, display showing you that the spa is heating. So if you can see top right corners, we're looking at it. That's a little flame symbol. Now at the moment, the flashing flame means that the spa is testing for heat. So it's got the temperature sensors working inside the heater can to decide what is the current water temperature. Last time it checked, obviously 22 degrees, but it's just doing another check. Should it come to the point that it thinks it's cooler than expected, which is probably going to happen, then that little flame will go solid, and that is telling you then that the heater is engaged. Um, now, going back to 13 amp bar versus 32 amp bar setup, 
if you're on 13 amp setup as soon as you put those jets onto high speed that flame's going to go out and the heat's going to go off if you've got it configured with 32 amp then that flame should remain on for you right so let's go back to the menu button again so we'll go through temp we'll go through mode we'll go through time uh, this is a good option flip so this allows you to change the orientation of the panel so it's the correct way up so if i hit flip all of a sudden i can read what i'm looking at which does make my life a little bit easier showing you this video so we'll leave that on there i'll just press menu again that's obviously taking us back to the home screen so the final bit we're going to show you if i scroll back through is going to be uh, we won't talk about lock at the moment i was actually looking for your filter cycles there we go so this is showing us filter and you can see the little number one flash in there so this is filter cycle one so if we go into here it'll then give you the begin option you can then press the button again and this is going to tell you that it's going to start filtering at eight o'clock in the evening time so if we're happy with eight o'clock we'll press the menu button again which will take us to the minutes part and then press the menu button again and it's then going to offer you the run time so run hours and if we use the up down arrow here currently set for two hours generally speaking most of our spas are happy running for two hours filtration a day i would normally advocate that you do two lots of one hour so i'm going to reduce this down to one and then we'll press menu on that and we'll press menu again so that's filter one ends at it's going to tell us nine o'clock which is correct so that's filter one done if we press the menu button again you can see now we've got the two flashing so that's telling us about filter cycle two so if we go into this currently set to off so i'm going to put filter cycle two to on just using the up and down arrows we'll go back again and press the menu button and now it's going to offer me a begin time so begin let's pick the arrow helpfully it's gone for eight o'clock in the morning so this is what i would have naturally done eight in the morning eight at night so we'll go back to the menu button press that again do the minutes it's then going to offer us a run time so we'll just check what that is so that's currently set for 15 minutes so i don't want that so we'll menu well actually no we'll do it the other way i want one hour in there that's correct and then i'm going to take the minutes out so let's go down there we go so that's what i was looking to do press menu to accept and that's now going to tell us it finishes at nine in the morning so that's all good we'll press menu again and we'll skip through preferences and utilities and we're back to the home screen so again as you can see i was talking about earlier with the static flame symbol that is now running we're in ready mode just so you can see when you are on this screen if you use either the up or down arrows just quickly press them it's going to show you the desired temperature the spa is heating to so that flash is and then it goes back to the current display so if we want to heat it a bit hotter than that press the button again and basically scroll it up so if i say 37 degrees so once it's flashed for three or four seconds it's then going to go back to the current temperature so that's what your spa is heating up to hopefully that's helpful obviously any questions or queries do give us a call i'm jeff at better living outdoors thank you for watching